What's up everyone, photographer Ronix from Ronix Photography and today we're going to be doing melanin skin tone color grading in Photoshop and I'm going to be giving you guys a free melanin action for this tutorial and yeah, feel free to use it for your images and this image was taken by Seyun Oderindi, I'm going to put his link down in the description of this video so that you guys can check him out, he's an amazing photographer and as you can see for this image I already did retouching and I did global dodging and burning so for my retouching I used it I used friggin separation and I used the mixer brush tool and the lasso tool method so for those who would like to check out how I do my friggin separation I'm going to put the link to my friggin separation retouching right above here and if at all you'd like to learn how, how I do my global dodging and burning in Photoshop I'm also going to put the link right above so for the global dodging and burning it is more of adding dimension and shape to the image it is more of controlling the portrait so i'm going to put the link right above here so that you can learn more about it and improve your photography level or skills in photoshop so as you can see this is the image is already retouched and when i'm going to do my melanin color grading i prefer first of all to duplicate the background layer by uh, dragging and dropping right here to make a, a background copy or by clicking ctrl j on the keyboard or command j for mac so i'm going to come right down here and i'm going to create a black and white adjustment layer so as you can see now the image is already in black and white so i'm going to come right to the blending option and i'm going to uh, click multiply so when you click on multiply the image will be so so dark it will be too dark as you can see right now and I'm just going to come and I'm going to reduce on the opacity of uh, that uh, effect you can see right now that is done so we are going to come right back here and this time you're going to create a second black and white adjustment layer and now this time you're going to come to are uh, you going to use uh, let's let's use uh, darken uh, darken is not working for us so we're going to use overlay for the second one yeah we are, we are using overlay so you create a black and white adjustment layer and come and change the blending option so uh, you can see it is too dark so just come and uh, reduce on the effect of that you can see now the image already looks melanated so we are going to come to our selective color right here click on selective color and now we are going to come to our red channel right here and we are going to uh, first of all uh, reduce on uh, the yellows in the image you can see what this is doing you can see it before after we are now removing the yellow from the reds in the image you can see on the red channel and now we are removing the yellows from uh, the reds in the image yeah i think that is fine and now you're going to do this black and white one more time but this time around you can see this is the third black and white adjustment layer and now this time around you're going to come back to we're going to come back to multiply right here so when you click on multiply the image is going to be too dark so let's reduce on the opacity yeah let's reduce on the opacity so let's click on uh, this right here this little box i don't know what i can call it and we are going to play around with this uh, slider you can see you can darken or lighten so and um, for my red channel let me uh lighten it up a little bit so let me also come to my yellow channel and i see what really works best for me i think that is fine and one more last thing we are going to come uh, to our brightness and cont contrast sorry and now we are going to uh reduce the contrast a little bit because the image is too contrasty and now we're going to create one more last one sorry it is not uh the hue and saturation now uh, we're going to come back right here and you're going to uh come to our vibrance and saturation so we're going to reduce on the saturation of this image because uh, we are going in for a more melanated kind of look so you can see now the image uh, looks melanated so what we are going to do right now we are going to increase on the brightness remember it has darkened our image so you're going to uh, pump up uh, the brightness 
a little bit more to get it uh, closer to what the image looked like initially so let me group all these shift and i click on the lowermost layer ctrl g to group them you can see this is the before after before after before after i think this is really really amazing and it looks fine for me if at all you feel the effect is too much you can just come and uh reduce on the opacity of uh the overall group i think 83 is fine for me for this image so this is how you color grade your melanin images in photoshop and i'm going to be giving you guys uh the lat yeah i'm going to giving i'm going to give you guys the lat for free so the download link is going to be in the description of this video and this image is taken by sayun or the and yeah this is how we do our melanin color grading in photoshop and if at all you love this video don't forget to like or drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if i told you have learned something from this video i'm ronix from one photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet another tutorial on this channel and stay safe